Hello and welcome to our first online Year 7 Information Evening. My name's Mr Snelton and I'm the Principal of the County High School Leftwich. I would love to be welcoming you into our school hall and sharing these key messages and presentations with you in person, but for obvious reasons, for now, this format will have to do. The presentations that follow will focus on ensuring that you have the vital information you, you require to support your child's learning and development during their Year 7. The presentations will focus on how you will know what good looks like for your child via our target setting system and whether they are on track to succeed and achieve success. Our targets are personalised and they define what good progress looks like for each individual child. We will share with you some of the different ways that we will support your child during Year 7. I'd like to start though by taking this opportunity to say thank you. Thank you for the support you've shown so far in helping our Year 7s, your children, achieve our behaviour expectations, now more important than ever. Every morning Mrs Berry, myself, other leaders and teachers welcome Year 7 into the building and we've been really impressed how the vast, vast majority of them are demonstrating that they are ready to learn. They're dressed appropriately, turning up on time and with the correct equipment. They're demonstrating that they are respectful and safe. They're wearing those face masks. Thank you for supporting us with those. Let's make sure that Year 7s continue to turn up to school with their face masks and that they put them on before they leave the building and every time they leave their classroom and they're in the building. They are showing they're respectful and safe by staying within their zones, by following instructions first time, every time, and by saying please and thank you. They are genuinely the most polite Year 7 students I think we've ever had at the County High School Leftwich. They're demonstrating that they can embrace opportunities. When I walk around the Year 7 zone, I see that they are thinking hard and working hard. Well done Year 7, keep up the good work. And I know that when we can begin enrichment activities after school and at lunchtime, I know that they will embrace those as well. So thank you for supporting your child to enable them to meet these expectations and I know that Mrs Berry will talk more about them during her presentation. First up though, we'll hear from Mr Carter, Assistant Principal uh, leading on achievement and curriculum. He will describe how you will know what good progress looks like for your child and how, how we will report on this. Mr Carter. To help students make good progress at the County High School Leftwich, we ensure that there is an appropriate timetable, including tutor time, where a whole school literacy programme is delivered. Schemes of learning in each subject treat years 7 to 11 as a five-year learning journey. The target setting and tracking system at Key Stage 3 takes account of the 9 to 1 GCSE grades. Two exam windows are held for each year group, with the exams followed by tracking reports. Lessons are delivered in a way which enables frequent opportunities for recall of knowledge and recapping of topics and concepts. Subject leaders and their teams have analysed previous results along with student performance and implement any refinements where they are required. In preparing students to succeed, staff will regularly test and quiz students on previous knowledge and by delivering new concepts with clarity. Formative feedback will be provided by staff in a clear and precise way to help students improve. This may be written feedback in books or on the tests or verbal feedback given in lessons. Students are actively encouraged to take responsibility for their own learning by the setting of independent tasks. Students at the County High School left which follow a broad and balanced curriculum. At Key Stage 3, which is most of the times the students are with us at the school, they will study the following subjects. Art and Design, Creative Computing and Media, Design and Technology, English, Education for Life or EFL, French or Spanish, Geography, History, Maths, Music, PE, RS and Science. Baccalaureate or EBAC is the name for a suite of subjects including English, Maths, Science, either Geography or History and a modern foreign language, either Spanish or French at the County High School Leftwich. The Government intends for 90% of students to study the EBAC at Year 11. The vast majority of students at the County High School left which already do this, with 94% of our current Year 11 students taking the EBAC. The next few slides will describe how we define good progress for students at the County High School left which. 
The key thing to take away from the target setting process is the message that Year 7 targets will describe where students need to reach at the end of Year 7 to be making good progress towards GCSE success. Each Year 7 student is given an individual target for each subject. At Key Stage 3, the targets are end of year targets, while at Key Stage 4, students are given an end of GCSE target. The targets are designed to be challenging, but achievable. Achieving the target is the minimum expectation. This is important to note. Targets do not limit students, so a student can exceed their target grade and are encouraged to do so. As an example, in those subjects which set classes in higher year groups, the students are set by their prior performance at the school rather than by their targets. To create the Year 7 targets, we will use the Key Stage 2 Teacher Assessment for each student and a national database alongside County High School Leftwich Teacher Assessment. This will provide an expected GCSE target range for each subject for each student. To define good progress, each subject has created a flight path which contains the stages that students need to reach by the ends of Year 7, 8 and 9 in order to get to their GCSE target for each subject. Each grade has been split into three sections, upper, middle and lower. So as an example, a 5 lower is 5L, 5 middle is 5M and 5 upper is 5U. This is an example of a flight path for a subject. It is important to note that you cannot compare targets in year 7 to 9 between different subjects, as each subject has its own bespoke different flight path. A student in this subject who has a target of a 4 at GCSE will be given a target of a 2M in year 7, 3L in year 8 and 3M in year 9. Each student will receive a sheet stating what their targets are for each subject and a likely GCSE target range. The reason it is a likely target range will be explained in a couple of slides. As mentioned previously, because each subject has its own bespoke flight path, you cannot compare targets between different subjects during Key Stage 3. It is possible to have a lower target in Year 7 in one subject compared to another, which would end up at a higher GCSE target at the end of Year 11. To highlight why you cannot compare targets between subjects, we can look at this example. For each subject, A, B and C, the student has the same likely target at Year 10. However, the targets in Year 7, 8 and 9 are different. Subject A could be a subject that students have studied before at Key Stage 2, so they will have some knowledge and skills in this area already, and they are added to over time. Subject B. Students may not have studied this subject at Key Stage 2, and knowledge and skills are increased over time at a steady rate. Subject C is a subject students may not have studied at Key Stage 2, and the skills and knowledge are built gradually at first, then develop more rapidly in Year 9. In Year 10, we will revisit the National Database to utilise the latest national data from the GCSE exams. This, alongside with input from subject leaders and their teams, will be used to generate new targets for each student. This process is why we refer to likely GCSE target ranges for the Key Stage 3 target, as students' final GCSE targets can change from Year 7 to their targets given in Year 10. The targets will be published by January and more information about them will be available on the school website. Students do not need to get confused by the flight paths and likely target ranges. The key message is a simple one. If students are achieving or exceeding their end of year 7, 8 and 9 targets, they are on track to achieve good progress at GCSE. To track and report student progress in year 7, there are two student tracking windows. ST1 takes place between the 7th and 18th of December, while ST2 takes place between the 17th and 28th of May. We assess students to help them learn how to organise their time preparing for tests, retain key facts, learn how to manage their time during a test, and to check their work effectively. Prior to each student tracking window, students will be issued with a timetable, stating when their exams are throughout that window. We will try to spread the exams out as much as possible, but sometimes there will be more exams on some days than others due to the timetable of when those lessons are. Please note that this is the first week of last year's timetable, just given as an example. Students will also receive revision guidance stating which topics they should revise for that test. After each student tracking window, students record what went well and an even better if for each subject on the summative assessment sheets. After each student tracking window, students will be issued with a written report. The report at ST1 will state if students are on track to exceed, meet or be below their target grade at the end of the year in each subject with a T plus, T or T minus. At ST2, the report will contain a grade for each subject. Here is an example of an ST1 report. 
The written comment provided by the teachers will explain what the student has done well and how to improve in that subject. Consultation day is on Friday the 22nd of January. Given the circumstances of this year, the exact format of the day will be decided closer to the time. This day is an opportunity to discuss each student's progress in the different subjects with their form tutor. The In Touch service is a way that we can send information to you via email. This will include student targets, tracking reports, newsletters and behaviour and attendance reports. If you have not signed up to this yet, please do so by contacting the main office. Finally, each half term students will be issued with a behaviour and attendance report. This will show the lesson monitor, enrichment points and attendance for each student. Thank you, Mr. Carter. Remember, the reason that we do this student tracking and getting students to take tests, to take exams, is to, to help us be able to report to you what their progress is. But that is actually only one very small part of the reason that we do these tests. The main reason is so that your child's teachers can find out what, your stu what their students know, and more importantly, what they don't know. This evidence, this data, is then used to plan future lessons and address the gaps in students' knowledge. The tests are part of the picture where teachers are judging whether students know more, understand more and can do more. If they can, they are making good progress. Next up then is a very important person in your child's five year learning journey with us and it's Mrs Berry, their year leader. Mrs Berry will describe some of the ways that we are supporting your child during that five year learning journey. Here at the County High School Leftwich, we work together with the students and their parents to help them not only achieve the best progress, but ensure that they have opportunities to thrive in all that they do. To do this, we work together in school to support each individual student in a range of ways. Our year team consists of seven tutors and myself. Tutors see your child each and every day and are the first point of contact if they or you have any concerns. We are a learning mentor for your child. Together we monitor achievement and behaviour within lessons, monitor attendance and punctuality, facilitate our education for life, character development and literacy programmes, along with promoting good enrichment. We expect and implement high standards of behaviour for learning, monitor punctuality and attendance. I lead tutors in helping students to perhaps resolve perceived barriers to learning and in monitoring the progress of the year group, we liaise with subject teachers and leaders when appropriate, our SEND team. There are individual levels of support available, but a combination of these resources may also be appropriate for your child. Each morning we deliver a comprehensive programme of learning activities to improve and consolidate their personal character development, looking at core character attributes, leadership, organisation, resilience, initiative and communication, all cultivating healthy, lasting learning skills. Assemblies are also linked to personal character development. For this term, the focus has been starting as we mean to go on, relaying the importance of good organisation, preparing to be a good learner and what it looks like from day to day. There has also been focus on change, celebrating our differences and something that I'm especially keen to promote is feeling proud. Each Monday we have our Education for Life lessons which look at three core themes, relationships, living in the wider world and health and well-being. In relationships, we look at friendships and how to stay safe online. In living in the wider world, students are taught about discrimination and hate crime in terms of racism, disability and LGBTQ+. Students are taught how to develop interpersonal skills and self-confidence to help them achieve. In health and well-being, students are taught about healthy lifestyles including diet and nutrition and the importance of physical activity on the health and mental well-being. At this time, we are unable to offer enrichment, but in our normal ways of working, we offer a diverse programme, embracing character, knowledge, skills, creativity and imagination. 
we will resume to encourage all students to take part in some form of enrichment for all the reasons that you can see here. Students are also rewarded for their engagement in the enrichment programme. We take pride in celebrating who we are, celebrating our differences and celebrating our achievements here at the County High School. We currently have our Interform Champions of Learning initiative. Each week, tutors select a student who are invited to a year team breakfast. There is also a weekly draw for students who perform as expected, gaining ones and twos across a week of lessons. And again, a half termly draw for the whole year group. When a child attends school on a regular basis, they are taking the biggest step in reaching their full potential by allowing themselves to have the best opportunities to learn and progress. Good attendance is vital and I would ask that any holidays are taken in the school holidays and where possible that appointments can be made outside the school term or school hours. Statistics show that attendance below 95% can begin to have a detrimental effect on a student's progress and we will be in touch if we are concerned with your child's attendance. Now we understand that in the current times, full attendance may not be possible due to COVID related absences. In these instances, students are directed to work remotely using Google Classrooms and or Microsoft Teams. Students have been looking at the best ways to use these platforms and will continue to do so in the term ahead. There is also a very useful help guide for Google Classrooms which can be found on our website. The key to success is being organised and resilient. These are ongoing skills that we will look through our character development programme. Being organised helps promote self-motivation and resilience. Every week tutors complete a basic equipment check and being organised is acknowledged and rewarded. Being organised is about planning and recording too and we expect to see students planners that reflect this. We ask that students record the main lesson objective each day and then underneath they record any additional learning that they need to complete and the date that this needs to be handed in. This particular student has used a highlighter to point out when their homework is due in. We encourage students to refer to their planner each evening when packing their bags for the next day. If you encourage your child to apply themselves to everything that you've heard this evening, they will be successful. And finally, please stay in touch by looking out for the information via the InTouch system, looking at the school website and following us on Twitter. Thank you Mrs Berry and thank you for watching this presentation um, and thank you for your ongoing support. Should you have any questions, please contact admin at leftwichhigh.com and we will ensure that your queries are addressed by the correct person. I'd like to finish by returning to the theme I started with to say how impressed I've been by the vast majority of our Year 7 students. Well done Year 7, especially in these challenging circumstances. Keep thinking hard, keep working hard and keep following instructions first time, every time. Thank you and I'll see you again soon.